Greetings, my friend. Since the media won't cover this, I'm going to cover it. I'll be the media because I'm tired of seeing Donald Trump's name drugged through the mud and Billy Bush, who neither one of them I like, by the way, but I still don't want to see their names drugged through the mud while Hillary and her husband, Bill, who would be the first husband, the first man in the White House if she were president, which is a huge ambassador job. And with all of his political connections and allies, I'm sure he would be somehow working in her cabinet as well. Just he needs to be held accountable just like she does, as she needs to be held accountable for letting him get away with all this garbage and not bringing it up and not addressing it. So I'm going to go ahead and address it now. This was sent to me by Breebart News today, just about five minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Juanita Broderick says she was raped by Bill Clinton. Registered nurse Juanita Broderick just wanted to forget about what she describes as her brutal rape by then State Attorney General Bill Clinton in 1978. She was ashamed, <clears throat> even blaming herself for agreeing at his request to meet her in her hotel room on a visit to the state capitol. She thought it was going to be a meeting about the challenges nurses are face, facing nursing home practitioners, as he suggested. Instead, she explains in a new video interview with Breitbart News, Aaron Klein, he grabs me and turns me to him, and that was a shock, and I try to push him away, and no means no, by the way, Bill, and I only weighed about 120 pounds at the time, he was a very large man, and I kept telling him no, no means no, Bill, I don't want this at all, and he grabbed me again very forcefully and started biting on my top lip, and this was extremely painful. I thought he was going to bite my lip off, and that's when he pushed me back onto the bed. Roderick still breaks down in tears after she recounts the ordeal, even after 38 years, asked why, she said. I'm afraid of him. You are still afraid of him? asked Klein. Yes, she said. That I'm still afraid, especially if she becomes president, and I know it's looking that way, so it's frightening. Aaron, it's frightening. Roderick said Clinton raped her twice in an ordeal she says lasted between 25 and 30 minutes. I was completely dressed. She recalled when the attack began. I had a skirt and a blouse. He tore the waist off of my skirt and ripped my pantyhose and he raped me. It was very vicious. I was just pinned down. I didn't know what to do. I was so frightened. I was only 35 at the time and it was just horrible. I just wanted it to be over with so he would go away. After the initial rape, Broderick says she thought it was over. And then he did it again, she said. I was so ready for him to leave me alone, and he started raping me again. It was very brief, and he did get up, and he straightened himself, and my mouth was bleeding, and it was hurting, and he just stra straightens himself and goes to the door. With you still on the bed? asked Klein. Yes, crying, she said. He straightens himself, and he goes to the door and puts on his sunglasses and tells me to get some ice on that. He wished he would push down on my left clavicle, and it hurt so much, I thought my clavicle was going to break. And my lip was just ballooning out four times the size that it should have been. So, let's address this media. Let's address this Hillary Clinton and all the sexual uh, affairs and everything else or whatever other rapes may have been from your husband, uh, former President Bill Clinton. Let's address it at the debate tonight, in fact. And if you won't address it, I hope that Donald Trump does. This is a Christian channel. So, if you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. You guys take care of yourselves. And wake up, people. The media is so biased. It's so one-sided. It makes me sick. Physically sick. It makes you want to vomit. This country is so ridiculous now. Bye.